Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, as some of you might have watched my first couple videos, my channel name was MB Crafts, but now it's 2MB Creations because I changed my, um, my account and I moved the videos over. That way I have a better brand account and I can do more with my um, YouTube channel. My other one was just on my personal YouTube and it kind of had bad quality and the I couldn't do as much with the videos so now we have this way um so it's gonna be mb creations from now on and in today's video we're gonna be making a patriotic wreath using this sign just says usa um and then it's very sparkly i already put the stuff on the back so that way we don't have to watch that uh, but i'll get to that later once we do the sign the inspiration um, was this mesh. I really like the met color of this mesh. Um, so this is a 10 inch mesh, deco mesh. Woo! Um, deco poly mesh. And then I also have one of these just plain red. Um, this one came from the wreath shop online. And then this one came from Hobby or Joanne Fabrics during Christmas time, but it's just red. You can use it for any season. The ribbons for today um, are gonna be two different types. We have this one, which is um, a 1.5 inch, and it's just white with stars. And then the 2.5 inch is going to be another star. It's going to be this red 2.5 inch blue with the stars. Um, at first, I didn't think I was going to like the way that the um, ribbon laid because it was going to be two stars. But I don't think it's too much stars. I think it's going to look really cool. I already cut the ribbon, um, so yeah, that way that part is out of the way. Um, and I dovetailed it already as well. Um, I have not cut any of my mesh yet. I decided that we're going to save that for this video. Um, that way you guys can just talk along with me, um, watch me cut it. I think it goes a little bit faster when I don't cut the mesh, when I cut the mesh and quick add it on right away. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. I have not got my form ready yet because I wanted to show you guys how to do that too, because I have not done that in my videos yet. Usually I have it done already. I have a stamp on my finger from my thing. So I found my garbage cans. Bring them over here because I have a lot of garbage. So I have a 14 inch Dollar Tree wreath form. So that's what we're going to be using in this video. Um, I have six sparkly long pipe cleaners. And I have, I think, about 12 half cut. The long ones are going to be the ones that we're going to use for our ribbons so we keep them long that way we can use them for the ribbons as well and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna attach them on like usual we're gonna be using the poof method for this wreath again today hopefully in the next couple of videos i'll be able to come out with another wreath with a different type of method since i know my first three videos are the same method but i really like this method because it is turns out very full and in this video guys i'm after i was watching the replays for my bumblebee wreath and my farmhouse wreath, I really realized that I talk very fast. And I'm not trying to talk very fast, it's just when I talk, I must just talk really, really fast. So I'm trying to slow down today for you guys, so you guys can not hear me talk a mile a minute. So just twisting them on, twisting them on. And if you're not gonna be putting ribbon on all of the different ties then you don't need to have them all long it's just a waste of ties so that's why i'm going to use these half ones and they're it's just a 12 inch um pipe cleaner cut in half so these small ones are six inches and i add them on this first row and then the long ones on the third row for the small ones i just take it and i fold it in half like that and then i come up to the first one and as you can see i bring it down so it's between so now it's between and then i bring it back up and i just twist it like a normal and for the other ones i just brought it between the two cross sections like here and here and i just twisted them on those ones are a little bit easier to do this way that your small ones do not move um at all because you don't want them to move so i actually was at the dollar went to the dollar store today because I wanted to see if they had their 
patriotic or 4th of July stuff out yet because Easter's over now. And I called ahead and I said, do you guys have your 4th of July stuff out? And she said, yes. And I got there and she only had three things out. And none of it was related to Reese that I could have really figured it out. Um, she said she'll have it by the end of the week. And I have a $4 stores in my city that I go to. That's like right next to where I live. Um, so, um... This was a different dollar store that I don't usually go to, but I knew the other one didn't have it out yet. So what we're gonna do now is sorry for the crinkling, this is kind of kind of annoying. We are going to unwrap our mesh. And you guys on the back of this one, it does teach you, it shows you how to do the curl method, as you guys can see. That's the curl method right there. I'll teach you that one time. And it shows you how to cut them and make the wreaths. So that's very helpful. But we're gonna be watching my re my video today. So I didn't introduce you guys to, actually I didn't even show you guys what we're gonna be using. I don't know if we're gonna be using this, all of this, but I do have these picks. I have this pick. It's like three rockets with the stars coming out. And I have this really big pick. Um, which a bunch of, you can't, can't really see it. It's a bunch of stars with curly things. I'm caught in that. So I don't know what we're going to be using. I have these picks. These all came from the wreath shop. Um, so, um, I don't know if I'll be using all of them or some of them, or maybe I'll see. I just have them over here as part. And then there's six more. Oh, well, maybe there's, yeah, there's six more. Six more, and you guys know what we use these for. We use these for the last three bundles at the end. So I moved our wreath form out of the way, and I'm going to bring this so you guys can see it. Okay, perfect. And what we're going to be using is our rotary cutter. Um, I also have my scissors with me. I have um, a, plier, a pliers and a snippers, and then I also have my hot glue gun plugged in and my skillet if, if we use the picks. But for right, and then my mat. So we'll move those tools out of the way. We'll start with this color, which is the striped. We'll bring it to the end. As you can see, this is the end right here. It's lined up with the black. And we're going to cut it at 12 inches. So it's a 10 by 12 inch square. So it looks like that. So I'm going to cut three of those. And what I think I'm going to be doing, you guys, is going like this. I'm going to be alternating. So I'm going to do two and one. So I'll do two of those, one red. And then the next one, I'll do two red and one of those. That way we get the color in there, the contrast. So I unwrapped the red. And we're going to do the same exact thing. Cut it at 12. Bring it down. You can put your mesh on with any of the mesh rollers that they have. Um... Mine tend to just stay. My mesh doesn't really move that much. And then you bring it down to the end. This is where we cut, and this is the regular ends, and we just scruffle in the middle. As you guys know, make it like a bow tie. Put it between your fingers. And then we're gonna bring our red out now because that's our next, our middle color. Bring our red up. Twist it like a bow tie, put it in the middle. And then we'll, oh. I'm going to move these ribbons out of the way. You guys know my table is very small and I have a lot of stuff on it. So if it, it likes, my mesh likes to bring other stuff up with it that it's not supposed to. So there we go. And you got the red in there. So now we're going to come over here. Bring our wreath form up. Bring this one to the middle. So we'll, I always start with the small one like this okay and I think I'm gonna try a different idea today I think I'm gonna start with all my inside ones and then I'm gonna move to the outside I think that will help it bring it a little bit better so we're gonna cut two red now this time because it's gonna be two red one multicolor to alternate or to alternate yeah And then we'll cut one of the, 
other ones. Move that guy out of the way. So, you guys get me your guys' patriotic wreaths. Comment down below if you have started your patriotic wreaths. If you're done with yours already, haven't even thought about it yet. I know some people are like, haven't even thought about that wreath on patriotic yet. Fourth of July is kind of far away, but I want to start doing Fourth of July um, patriotic now, and then I can start doing a little bit more summer. Um, I don't do too much patriotic. I have a couple of wreaths already done. So, you guys know, red, multi, red. So now we'll do that one right here in this tie right next to it. So we'll be switching off the colors, and I think it's going to be a very cool wreath at the end. So we just have to hold, wait and see. So now we'll do two multi, one red. So tell me down in the comments if you'd rather have me have the mesh cut already, like I did in some of my videos, or if you watch me just make the whole wreath. Sit here, grab a snack, maybe a drink, maybe you're sitting there, coffee, maybe you're maybe you're watching this while you're making a wreath. Um but I um some people tend to like watching me cut the meth mesh and just seeing that way I always put it on safety you guys. I don't really know why I do it, but then I start and then it doesn't roll or cut. I'm gonna turn it off safety. See like right now I put it on safety again. It's like a weird habit of mine. I guess I guess I'm being safe. But then I don't put it off safety when I when I want to start using it again. And then I have to put it down and I have to put it back. So, ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. And you guys know in my other videos I say you don't have to be perfect. Um, it's kind of the texture of this wreath is to just make them look... It looks quite cool when it's not all exact same but just make sure you're somewhat in the middle that way that it's even on both sides of your wreath um, you don't want it to be real short over here but really long over here it's just going to make your wreath look a little bit bad but if it's not perfect it's not going to show one bit so now we're just going to cut one of these just because it's in the front and then we have to cut cut to red yes And then two red. This red is a lot softer because this other one's a poly burlap or poly mesh, which means it's a little bit more thicker. And then this red is just a regular old deco mesh with um, foiling through it. It's very heavy, um, foiled all the way through. This one, this one is foiled um, very small, limited. And then as you can see, this one is foiled all the way through. So it's your decision. I think foil the foiling and the sparkle is kind of nice for this patriotic because it's glowing, like kind of repent. Rep rep when I see glittery, I think of when I see like glittery stars and stuff. I think of patriotic. I don't know if you do, but I know I do. And like glitter, like our sign is real glittery. I think it looks amazing. So. Got another one in there. Bring our wreath form out. Stick it down in there. Oop, my finger got caught. And twist. And I really like these sparkly twist ties. They help bring out the... And I didn't want to just use my plain salad red because I have a couple wreath videos that I want to be, or some wreaths that I don't really think it would look right. Again, my safety is on. I forget to turn it off. So what I was saying was I have, I don't have as much, I'm kind of running out of my red, just regular old red fuzzy um, pipe cleaners. So I was, I decided to use a sparkly just... That way, when I make my other wreaths, if I don't get to the store right away with and get new pipe cleaners, I have some pipe cleaners. And I don't know, some of you guys might have been asking how much 
those last two wreaths that I made the other day, um, the bumblebee and the, I have not looked up the pricing yet because I know I'm going to make a video one time um, where I talk about pricing and how I price my wreaths and how I decide how much I want to put in and and that's a whole new video because there's many things to look into. You gotta look into your your cost of your supplies. Um, if you had to buy them online, how much was shipping? Because you don't want to pay. You don't want to be stuck paying the shipping. That's why sometimes I like to buy. I used to. I kind of go and I buy a bunch of different stuff for different reasons. So that way, I'm usually most websites will have a like. Oh, if you hit over sixteen, I know on the re shop, I think it was like sixty nine dollars. If you hit go over that but I know on craft outlet I didn't need anything else that time so I paid ten dollars shipping but it's also gonna be here and it was nine dollars shipping was the cheapest nine dollars was the cheapest to get it here in like two weeks or I could pay ten dollars to get it here in three days so I said for a little bit like a dollar twenty five or something more why not just get it then <laughs> it was FedEx was the nine dollar two weeks in ups or you i think it was us post yeah the postal service usps which is U, us postal service is ten dollars i'm like that's just a big difference and it was kind of weird because it was fedex if you wanted to hear about the 17th which is it was like thirty dollars but U.S. Postal Service, it was, by the 16th, $10. So I'm thinking, I don't know who was going to buy the FedEx one when you can get it. It was just messed up for me. I was like, this doesn't even seem right. So yes, you have to always think of your shipping. You have to think of your material cost. Um, how long did it take you to make your wreath? And so yes, you have to always add in your time. You don't want to be... So people say, well, I like enjoying it. Well, you want... You're not making any money if you don't add in your time because then you're just they're just getting the money back from your resupplies and if you're trying to make a business out of this you need to be making money somewhere and then if you're going to be if you're ship if you're not on etsy or you're going to be delivering it to their house you need to think about well am i going to charge them to deliver it because i'm not your gas your car doesn't run for free or are they going to come pick it up or do you have to ship it to them? Because then you got to pay for that. So there's many different things that you have to look for when you're shipping. So I need to go through yet, and I have to go online, and I have to look up how all much all the supplies for those wreaths. Um, the invoice that came in the box did not have that, so I have to go through and think of it my or look up it myself. So now we're gonna start with the outside, um, and we're gonna start with this one because we just finished that last wreath. Last one was two red one um stripe so we're gonna do two stripe one red on the outside of it that way we're gonna go we're gonna alternate but then it won't be the same and i'll show you what i mean when i get these cut and we put it up to the thing so scruffle 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 you don't want to watch me part do this part you can always skip ahead to the part where I start adding the signs and the ribbons because that's more of the fun part. But you don't have a wreath unless you have your mesh in. As you can see, I don't really sit there and I'm not picky. So what I was talking about was this red right here. It goes red, white, a red stripe red so this one goes stripe red stripe so we're gonna put this one on the outside of that one as our starting point and then whatever way we go it will be so this one is just bringing out the color and then we go back to one red two red one stripe stripe move that over bring out our red it gets stuck to your shirt it's very sticky that's one thing i don't really like about deco meshes it's very sticky 
but it is nice in the wreath when you need when you have a hole and you need to just rub it together and then it sticks to each other and kind of covers up the hole but it likes to stick to everything else when you're making the wreath so bow tie oh see it's picking picked up my pipe cleaners they're all stuck in there i wonder if it did that to any other wreaths <laughs> there might be some pipe cleaners stuck in there Okay, bring that one in, put this one out, red, where are we at, at time, 20 minutes, it's not bad, and then bring it over, find our next opening, stick it down in there, pull tight and twist, twist, twist. I twisted about a couple times. It's gonna get twisted again, especially the big ones once we add our ribbons in there and then I'll get cut off and twisted down. So, but I'd twist it a couple times just that way we know your, your clump isn't gonna fall out. So we got our one red now and now we'll do two stripe. I really love this this um, mesh. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a couple more of these. That way we don't have to just cut a couple more. We can use them. We're going to need one and then we'll need two. So I'll cut enough for like three more clumps. That way it just goes a little bit faster when you just cut a bunch at a time. So I suggest for you is just, just cut a bunch and then you go ahead and do it. So we're gonna need two for that one. And then we'll bring our red over and we'll cut a couple more. And then we'll make this video go a teeny bit faster that way. So that's one. Um, cut it through two more. That way we have enough for that. It's so weird when I, when I pull out this red mesh and then when I'm pulling out the other one because this one is so much lighter and so much thinner you can see the roll of the other one this looks like you're getting more on it but you're really not because it's just really thick and this one's just more compacted so what we're gonna do for this one is two oh I think it's one red actually one red yes it's one red two stripes so we'll quick do these um, stripes one more stripe, look on the bottom. I kind of did it backwards this time, you guys, but you guys got it. You guys understand what I'm doing. There we go. So now it's two stripe, one red. Now we got it back together. Okay. And we'll bring our wreath in. And we'll come over here and pull it. I don't know where the other guy is. There he is. Pull tight and it spin. This one's not fraying as much, which is very, very helpful. So this one's too red. One stripe. <laughs> scruffle, 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 scruffle. And now we got that one done. You always go in bunches of three. At least I always do. It just helps it make it a lot more full. And you'll have enough to make your whole wreath just using two things. And you'll also have a little bit left on your rolls. So I always do groups of three when I'm doing scruffles and when I'm doing um, the curl method. I always use group of three. I just like to do things in groups of three. Scruffle, 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 scruffle. Stick her in there. And bring your other one over. And I think we have one or two more to go left. And then we have to make our six other ones quick after that. Whoa. Move your stuff out of the way. As you can see, I'll have my... have all my schnibbles left. Bring it in here. Bring it right down. 
And I don't know if I told you guys, but so for the first one, for the inside, I have the the re the shuffles going like this, and for the outside, I have them going like this. So it kind of goes over, so it helps bring it out a little bit more full. So we have one more to go, and this one is two red, one stripe. And then I think I'm gonna leave, and then I'm gonna make our other six quick, and then I'll come back when I have those guys on. So that way you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do all that. Cut it, cut it. It goes pretty fast once you get the hang of it. Um, put that on safety. And then we'll bring our red in. One red. I love the foiling on this one. It's not very heavily foiled, but it's got enough foiling to make it. So is this one. I don't know if the camera is picking up the foiling, but it looks pretty sparkly. And there you go. Stick that in there. Grab your pincher end to pinch them so that way I know where my middle is. And then we bring it on over to our last little scruffle. Bring it down in there. Pull it up. Sometimes your pipe cleaners like to hide down in the form. And there you go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to make our six other bundles. As you know, um, I make... I'm going to make three of them with the two red, one um, stripe, and then three of them with the two stripe, one red. And then I take them, and I go in the middle here. These right now is where you can take them, and you can push these guys down, get them out of the back a little bit more. Um, I take them between. See, this is one grid right here. I take them, and I add them to the second row right here from the inside, and I do it right in the middle, and I stick it down in there, um, and then I have a little bit more full and that we use up a little bit more of our deco mesh so i'll come back when i have that done okay guys i'm back i got the other ones in already and now it's ready for ribbon so i'm just gonna cut this i kind of fluffed it a little bit too we'll fluff it again at the end when i'm done with everything because by that time it will be all out of the way i'm gonna quick grab my garbage can and i'm gonna take all these scruffles or scraps that are over here in this corner as you guys saw you guys can see and get them out of here so that way they're not contracting back onto your wreath because you once you pull them off you don't want them back on there again and this garbage can is full so i need to get a bigger garbage can for this room i have two little ones and they always seem to be full and i just emptied them last night but you know there's a lot of garbage that comes in wreath making so we're gonna move that guy out bring this one in Okay, so we're going to do our um, ribbons now. And like I said before, we already have our ribbons done. So we'll move that guy over. Um, bring that mat over a little bit so you guys can see. So yes, I have a 1.5 and a 2.5. So we'll just measure them out. I already dovetailed them too. So we're going to bring our 2.5. Bring our 1.5. And we're going to measure them, the ends up. Fold them in half, pinch them in the middle, bring them out. You always want the side that you want showing facing up while you're laying them down. Otherwise, you're going to have a backwards, or your wreath, your ribbons are not going to be facing the right way once you put them in your wreath. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring them down into one of my twisty ties. I have six twisty ties around the out outer edge, like you guys saw when we put together our wreath form. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist them on and then bring them over. And for this wreath, I'm going to be putting them to the outside since we're going to have a sign in the middle. So now we'll bring our next one. Bring these on. Fold them. Pinch in the middle. Bring out. This is wired ribbon. Always use wired ribbon for wreaths. Um, other ribbon... It's not wired, it's not going to stay in place, it's not going to want to move. You ain't going to be able to bend it wherever you want it to go. It's just going to flop over and not very look very good. So, 
always, always, always use wired ribbon. So yes, um, I love the way this looks with the, I didn't know how it was going to look with the two um, star ribbons, but I love the way it looks. It brings out a lot of color. I love the blue. And the other ribbon that I chose from, I'll show you guys, was this one. I have this 1.5, but then it would be too much blue, I think. I don't think I would have liked that, so that's why I have this one. So again, we're going to bring it down, right in, twist, twist, and at the end I'll cut the ties out. You can leave them in if you want, so I know some people will leave them in. I choose not to because I just don't want them in there. Um, but you can always leave them in there if you choose to. Um, these sparkly ones are kind of nice, but I just, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like the way it looks. But everyone is different. So we got another one around here, right here he is. Bring it down into the middle and twit, pull and twist. And then I fluff them back out again. As you can see, since this is wired ribbon, you can bend it, and it'll stay up. You tell the ribbon where you want it to go. And I'm folding again, pinching in the middle, bringing over, bringing down, right into our twisty, and pulling. Now, if you did not have a sign for this and you wanted to add more ribbon, all those short ones that are all down in, all down in here, you could have left long, and you could have added ribbon into those, but since I'm going to have a sign in the middle, I don't, I'm not going to put ribbon down there, because it's just going to be covered up anyways, and you're not going to be able to see it. So pinch in the middle, and we have one more tie left before we add our sign. We're going to add our sign, and then we'll go in and we'll see where we want to add some of those flowers, or if we want to add any of those rockets, or I don't think, I don't think they're rockets, I think they're more like a... Like a firework almost. That's what I think it was it's supposed to look like. Like a yeah, that's what I think it's supposed to look like a firework. But I think we're gonna add the stars. I think the stars are gonna look really cool in this wreath. So we have them done. Um, now we're gonna bring it, bring in our wreath or our sign. Sorry. Um, as you can see, I already added in our twisty our twisty pipe cleaners. Um, and don't ma doesn't matter what color you have because you're not going to see it. I use orange just because I don't really use orange a lot right now. But what I did was I put some hot glue down underneath this black thing. I put the thing down and then I put some hot glue on this paper. It's black cardstock. It's measured at one by three. And then I put that down and then I twisted on top, and I have that on both ends. I also stamped my information. Let's see if that focuses right there. Um, this says MB Crafts because that's what my company is. It's just my YouTube channel. It's not gonna. It's just MB Creations, which is perfectly fine. Um, and then my email is the same for. I don't know if it's gonna focus right there. There we go. Maxwellbeak13 at gmail.com. So you can email email me that if you have any questions that you want personal answer from um you can also comment down below and i'll hopefully i'll get back to you as soon as i can um so yes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this wreath right here i see this is i can i see this as my top right here and i like the way this is gonna look right in the middle so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it down um i can't really see this right now i'm gonna bring it down in here kind of down from over here, find, shuffle my way through the mesh just to bring my um, thing down. And I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna go in on into this. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm doing in a second. I'm just trying to um, bring it over. There we go. So I have it in there now. And I'm just going to do a quick couple ties. This is not permanent. Nothing is permanent right now. It's just so that the wreath doesn't fall out. 
Um, I kind of want the S to be kind of lined up between the two ribbon ribbons. As I know my setup is not very well right now, I'm going to figure out a new setup way. So that way I have more room and that way my, um, the way I have this camera f up right now would be a lot better. So that way I can really get you guys, show you guys the best way. And I kind of want to be able to put it so you guys can see my face and see me doing it and you'll see everything that's going on. So that way the camera's pointing at me and down, not down. Um, right now it's, it's working out fine for me, but I just want it to be a little bit better for you guys. Um, we'll, we'll just keep on getting it better. But right now we just gotta start making videos, showing you guys how to make these wreaths. Um, and then, so what I think it's pretty centered on how I want the wreath. I think I have it centered at least. Yes, I'm pretty sure. It it looks good for right now, so we're gonna flip it over. And again, I said we'll fluff it at the end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one end here. I'm gonna bring this guy over a little bit because I don't think it's perfectly even. There we go. We're gonna grab this end. So I have this end over here and this end. And we're gonna pull up at the same time. And then once we hear the paper kind of starting to tear a teeny bit, that way we know we're tight. We're gonna twist. So we'll do that on this end too, over here. And actually it's not all the way untwisted. Um, that, and we'll twist that in. And I just have it on the second grid, halfway in the middle between the two. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna twist real tight, bring this guy over a little bit, twist him. And then I'm gonna just take it and I'm gonna go around the thing. That way our pipe cleaner is not hanging out anymore. Um, I'm gonna cut this one a little bit just because it's a little longer and it's gonna take a little bit. That way it does not scratch someone's door, the end of the metal, because it's a little bit um, rough on the end. You can feel the wire if, if you put your hand on the end. And we don't want anyone's door or wall or whatever they choose, wherever they choose to put this. Since I'm selling this one, I will be selling these wreaths, or especially this one. Um, and since this one, if you can kind of fluff it down a little bit, it's not going to all go down because right now it's getting hit by our sign. But just so we have a flat surface, it's not as poofy. And now you can fling it back over again. I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way. Move out of the way, out of the way. What are we doing on time? 10 minutes and then we're all so far in this video. This part. Okay, so now that we flipped it over, our ribbons, of course, are going to be smushed because we smushed them. But that's okay, because we'll go through and we'll fluff them. Just fluffing them real quick. I'll fluff them again later once we have our picks in. And whatever we add when we decide what we're going to add in. So what I'm going to do quick is I'm going to go through and I'm going to pull these a little tighter. And then I'm going to cut these little pipe cleaners off in the middle. I'm using my little wire cutters. That way I can get down in the video or down in the center of the, the ribbon without cutting the ribbon because you don't want to cut your ribbon. It's too nice to cut. And you can use scissors for this, just be careful or because scissors are, as you know, got a bigger tip to them so they have more area to cut. And then I just poke them down as you can see. There's like this little knob here and I just tip it down. So now it's not poking up anymore. And it'll help. And then I got one more down here to cut. Excuse my arm. And there we go. So now what we want to do is we want to just scruffle this stuff down just a little bit. That way you can see your ribbons a little bit more. And then my ribbons are kind of... There we go. That looks amazing. So our sign is nice and perfect. And we can always, once you put it on your wreath easel, or I'm gonna, I put it on my wall... Um, then that's when we can go through when we're looking at it that way. I have a desk easel, but it's just these wreaths are too full and too big to to 
get the whole wreath on it without it being smushed. So what we're going to do now, I was just cutting off a couple of these. I'm going to grab my, I don't think I'm going to be using these guys today. I don't think, I think they're a little bit big for what we have, what we're working with. But I really think we could use some of these stars because these stars are amazing. And there's a lot of them on here. So we're not going to use this whole pick because that would be way too many stars. But we can always use our wire cutters and cut them off. So... I'm gonna kind of see, kind of like some of these big ones. Um, I don't know, it's kind of, some of these are really cool. So it's a bunch of different, like there's like this one, which is like a stem and there's like these stems you could always cut off and add other wire to them. So this one's kind of got something. So if you would do it, I'd probably put it on the back. But, so I got three big, ones and a couple small ones i don't know i might add them maybe a couple to the top or something um I'm trying to think you guys i didn't really have a plan on how i wanted to do them i don't want to cut anything yet until i know what i plan on doing we could always add a couple of these little stars into the middle or coming out of maybe we'll maybe we'll add a couple of these popping up here on top so what I think we're going to do is we're going to grab, like, this stem. This is a nice little stem. Um, it's got, like, a, a star, and it has a curly a curly guy. You can always go through and curl out your stem a little bit more and kind of fluff your star. So we'll do this. We'll start with this one, and then we'll see where we want to put it, where we want to put it. I think that looks kind of cool right there. Maybe we want to bring it down a little bit. So we're going to go in. I have a my hot glue skillet over here. It's just a little skillet with hot glue melted in it. Nothing fancy, nothing. You can always use your hot glue gun. Um, to do that. So I'm gonna just kind of shove it down there a little bit um, and get that guy stuck in there. If you guys hear any noise in the background, my family's out there, so I'll try to keep them quiet for right now but I don't know how long it's gonna happen okay so I want a couple blue I'm not sure there's no white curlies I thought there was I wish there was a couple little like um white curly cues but there's none so we'll be we'll work up we'll work around that I think what I want to do is add a big um big okay guys sorry about that i had an interruption so what i'm doing is i'm going to kind of just play with it for right now i want to add one of these big guys in there i think one of these big um i might use like i really think if I would have just done this and I would have just added that guy in there, that whole sprig is just a lot of cool, cool stuff. But I think I'm going to cut this guy off right now quick. Just this big sprig. Cut it. There we go. And we'll set that guy over to the side. I don't know if we're going to need any of that right now. Um, but to be honest with you guys, I really like this sprig. And I love how it's got a lot of different textures in there and different sizes going all over the place so what i think we might do is just add this guy up in there and that would look so cool i think that's going to look amazing and we might even just take those guys out of there so you guys you guys are seeing firsthand that not everything you put in just because i hot glued it doesn't mean it's permanent watch this pull it out a little bit and it's out so you just fluff your ribbons again, and it's out. This one I didn't even hot glue, I just set it in there. But I really like the way this looks, and I'm planning on using this guy for that. So we're going to kind of come in here. I'm going to... Maybe it's a little big. So we could trim it a little bit. Okay. 
here. We're gonna we're gonna play with it a teeny bit. Sometimes you guys it does not all I love I don't know, guys, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I don't know if I even like any of these in there. I might just leave it, to be honest with you guys. I'm not sure if I like I like the idea of it just being like that. So you guys, I might leave it. Um, I'm going to think on it a little bit. I might just play with it a teeny bit here. Um, just see. Well, now I have this blue guy off, but would that look cool in the middle? I don't know. I don't like the color. It's not the right blue. So I think I have another couple of wreaths that I'm going to be making sometime um, for Patriotic in the future. When I mean future, not like a couple years from now, but sometime this year I need to make a couple more. But I really, really don't, I think that this wreath is going to be done. And if I decide, if I decide that I like it, I'll come back on here before we do the ending. And I will show you. I For right now, I think this wreath is just done. I have another one that I'm going to be doing with some 21-inch um, mesh. And I think that I might add into that one because I don't have a sign for that wreath. So I think that... The main focal point will just be the, sp the things coming out, and it will be coming out of just different loops. So I really think that's going to be the better idea. So right now, I'm going to take this wreath. Actually, I'm going to quick fluff these guys. I'm going to add, show you guys how I add the hanger on there. So I'm just fluffing them, you guys, and showing, so then I can show you guys how I do the hanger. So the hanger I already have made, I just use these little wire things. I make them out of this wire, 16 gauge wire from Walmart, and I, I, I uh, pull it out about four and a half, four inches, don't want it too long, and then I bend it so it's like a circle, and then I take my pliers and I curve these little hooks right here. And then what I do is I take them and I go, I'll show you what I do. Like this is right here is the top of our wreath. So we're going to hook them in there. And now that it's hooked in there, I take my hand. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm going to just take my pliers and I'm going to pinch that little wire shut so that it can't come off anymore. I'll do it on this side too. I got to come in sideways on this one too. Okay. So then I just take my hot glue gun, and I, actually, it's out of hot glue sticks, so we grab a hot glue stick and shut it down in there. And then I just run hot glue around the outer edge of it, just so it, let it dry for a couple seconds. I take my popsicle stick, and I kind of move it around it. Um, I don't want it to drip in my mesh very much, just kind of. Kind of rub it around so it dries a little faster. By then, it should be pretty warm, um, pretty well cooled off by now. You can take your fingers, and if you're still t scared to touch it, um, just use some like rubber gloves or something. It's not going to really burn you anymore. And now it's on there, so that's what I use for my hanger. I'm going to quick take my chicken wreath off my wall where I have my nail. This one is very heavy. It's a very heavy wreath. And I'm going to add this guy right on to the nail. I'm going to make sure my sign is nice and, whoa, it came off the nail. So, there we go. Make sure my ribbons are done. Move it over a teeny bit because I think it, oh, now it came off the nail again, you guys. This wreath does not want to cooperate with me. I'm going to have to move my sign a little bit late after, guys, because my sign is kind of moving. But now I'm going to be taking you guys off the tripod real carefully. I don't want to. Okay. So, um, this is the way the wreath looks right now. Um, I love the way it looks. I think, I don't think it need. it doesn't need, um, any stars. I don't think it needs stars. I think it looks full and patriotic enough. As you guys can see, the the, re the sign's coming down a teeny bit. I'm just going to tighten up the pipe cleaner when I'm done. Maybe put a little hot glue on it so it stays. But otherwise, yes, this guy's this wreath is done. 
Um, if you like these kind of videos, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned to my next video. Until then, goodbye.